On October 22nd, 2009, Windows 7 got released to the public. That means that Windows 7 is now 12 years old. So I thought, for this video, I would install Windows 7 on a old Dell Inspiron 570 desktop, which is actually my grandma's old computer because she did get a new one recently. So I decided to install 7 on it and then get everything set up, get all the updates installed, and then after I got it all set up and everything, I'm going to try and game on it to see how Windows 7 performs with gaming 12 years later. So as you can see, I am currently in the process of installing Windows 7. Now I did run into a few issues where the drive was not showing up properly there. You can see the free space was 0.0, .0 megabytes. Turns out the partitioning got corrupted on it. So I decided just to do a disk part clean to clean the drive, you know, just to make sure that all that partitions are wiped because there was nothing really important on that drive anyway. So I decided to do that and then install Windows 7 on this computer. So you will be seeing a time lapse of me installing Windows 7, setting it up, getting all the updates done, and joining my domain. You will see in a later video on my gaming channel that will also be posted around the same time as this video, but on that channel, link will be in the description, of the first game I play. I play a total of around 5 games, so there will be 5 different videos posted to my gaming channel over the next month. I will try to upload one each week, but I can't promise anything since I am really busy with school, which is the reason why I've had lack of videos. Also, just a side note, I tried to get this video done completely yesterday, but that didn't work out, so I am a little late on the date, but it's still close enough, so I think it'll be fine. But in the meantime, enjoy the time lapse! In this part of the video, I use Snappy Driver Installer to get the Ethernet driver. I did try to use Snappy Driver Installer to get all the other drivers, but that wasn't really working out, so then I just decided to use Windows Update because it did grab the graphics driver and any other driver that was missing. Of course, 
first Windows update was broken and gave an error, so I had to install a few updates to fix updates for Windows 7. Now I recommend you install these 3 KBs if you ever install Windows 7, so that way your Windows update works and you don't run into issues later when installing Windows updates. Also on Windows 7, do not install all of the updates at once, be sure to do them in small batches such as 50 at a time, otherwise they could fail, and most likely will if you don't.